Hello, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. Today we're going to teach you how to use the TI-89 calculator to deal with hyperbolic functions. Uh, so sine h, sine, uh, cosine h, tangent h, those sort of functions that you deal with when you get into more advanced math. If you've never heard of a hyperbolic function and you, and you don't think you're going to be using them anytime soon, you can skip this section entirely. Uh, basically, these functions live under the math menu. Like I told you before earlier in the sequence, if you, if you have a function that you, you're trying to find, the first place you should look is the math menu. So go to second function math, up pops a menu. And we've used this menu quite a bit, but it, it's worth saying that a lot of things are in this menu, even things that are located other places. For instance, uh, you know, we've been dealing a lot with the algebra menu. Well, all of those functions that we can get to right off of the top uh, menu bar up here are available under the algebra section. See, solve, factor, uh, etc. If we just go to algebra, F2, solve, factor, and all these functions are, are there. So they're duplicated in the math menu. So it's kind of like a one-stop shopping. Same thing for, uh, let's go to calculus. We've been dealing a lot with calculus. Differentiate, integrate, uh, you can go down here and do your Taylor. Uh, Taylor expansion and all that stuff. So you can do quite a bit by just going into the math menu. Now if you come down a little bit more you'll get eventually to hyperbolic. And if you hit the fly out on that you'll see that you have your hyperbolic sine, hyperbolic cosine and so on. And you can go on down here and you've got you can scroll on down to the inverse hyperbolic sine, inverse hyperbolic cosine, etc. So basically you use these functions just like you would use any other function. If you want to do the hyperbolic sine of a number just put it on the stack stick a number in the parentheses and hit enter and it'll go off and evaluate that and give it back to you. And it's worth saying that just like the hyperbolic guys are there, so if you go down here to the trig menu and you fly that guy out, you've got your sine, cosine, tangent, inverse sine, inverse cosine, and if you go down you can see the rest of the guys here. Some of these trig functions are printed right on the buttons obviously because they're so common, but uh, all of these regular sine functions are available inside there as well. So we talked about the fact that you can uh, put numbers in here, you can do the hyperbolic functions, you can do their inverses by just you know, regular calculations. Uh, but there's some other neat stuff you can do with those. You can plot them if you like. You can use those functions and include them in a plot. Uh, we've already learned how to plot on this calculator, so you can do that. Uh, but let's do something a little more interesting. Let's go to differentiate. Let's take a derivative of one of these guys. So we put the D on the stack, we go into the math menu, we go up to hyperbolic. Uh, let's select uh, hyperbolic cosine. We have to give it a variable, so hyperbolic cosine of x, differentiate that with respect to x. So you would just stick the function right inside the derivative function, uh, the derivative operator, uh, with the variable that we're taking the derivative with respect to, and it'll tell you the derivative of the hyperbolic cosine is equal to the hyperbolic sine. So it's really handy because in calculus a lot of times you have to memorize those tables of uh, derivatives. So it's all in your calculator. If you're allowed to use calculators on your test, you basically have a table of, of derivatives built into this guy. All right, and you can do the same thing with integration. Let's go down here and integrate. Let's go to the math menu. Let's go up to the hyperbolic area. Let's do, you know, hyperbolic tangent, let's say, of x. We're going to integrate hyperbolic tangent of x, and let's integrate it over x. We'll hit enter. It'll think for a second. And here, the natural log of e to the 2x plus 1 minus x, that's the integral of that guy here. And we can modify this to do a definite integral. Let's do from 1 to 4, let's say. So this was an indefinite integral. Let's go and do a definite integral of a hyperbolic tangent. Let it think for a second. It'll give us a, an exact answer because that's what the calculator tries to do. If we want a, num a number, we'll hit uh, squiggly equals. Let it think for a second. And it'll convert this guy uh, back to a decimal, which is uh, 2.87341. So that's about all I want to say about the hyperbolic functions. They're not something that you use a lot, uh, but when you get up into upper level math and you do need to use them, it's good to know where they are. And I also wanted to reiterate that a lot of the common things that you'll need are going to be inside of this math menu. Of course, the calculator provides an algebra menu and a calculus menu up here at the top, which are probably some of the most common things. But most every other thing you can think of that you would use on a daily basis is off in this uh, math menu as well.